This is not ideal. Oh. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Melinda, plain and simple. It's Tuesday again. That means it's time for another tiny tidy. So I'm back out in my garage. It's a nice day again. I think it's a little bit humid, but it's cool, so it's all right. So I wanna get just a little bit more stuff done. So if you've got anything around your house that you want to tidy up, clean, organize, or declutter, grab your stuff and come on and let's do this together. I made a lot of progress last time. And actually, I don't know how many of these I have uh, recorded so far. I don't know how far up into the summer this is going to take us. But we are at this point a little past halfway through June, my time. I don't know, <laughs> like I said, I don't know how far it's going to be up into the summer. Um, it wasn't intended to be a whole summer series, but you know, it is what it is. If you want more inspiration and motivation, click on the playlist. I'll have a link in the description box below. And I'll also have a link to Sunday Dawn's channel, The Helpful Home. She is the host of Tiny Tiny Tuesdays every week. This um, thing here, I was going to put it out in the fairy garden, but now I'm thinking maybe I'll put it somewhere in this garage. And maybe I'll find a place over here in this section. And yes, <laughs> that's still a mess over there. But... I'm not worried about that yet. Oh, and these things, I'm thinking those might look cute out in my fairy garden. I may have to get the step ladder, but I'm thinking about putting that sign up there on top of that. Um, I haven't done anything with those cat wooden pieces. I think I'm gonna go ahead and declutter those. I can reach those. Now I'm thinking I need to keep at least a couple of these kitty cat things. I'm not quite tall enough to reach, so I used them to scoot that thing over and to put that into position. So now I gotta figure out if I just wanna leave them right here. Uh, it's a pretty far stretch for me. Oh, okay. okay, there you go. Huh. All right. Eh, that'll work. I'll wait. Let's see. Maybe we'll. So we can see the whole sign. Well, this is what I did. <laughs> kind of used two of them to do it, but there. Okay, and that way we can see the whole word apple. I think that'll work. What do you think? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I think that'll work. Let's see. Scoot down. That's as far in as they go. Okay, and then I can go ahead. And declutter these unless I need to put them somewhere else to use as extenders to my hands and arms. <laughs> Let's put these over here. Like I said, if I decide I need to keep them, I will. Um, because that, that was handy. Uh, let's see. For the moment, because I may actually find a use for them. I'm going to put them right here. That'll work. There. They're right there. And then that way I'll see them and I can make a decision about whether I need to keep them or not. Um, I'll put them somewhere. I don't have to stretch for them. Okay, now this is a picture that had belonged to my mother-in-law, I believe. Um, so Randy wants to keep that. And since a lot of this stuff out here in the garage, I mean, I, I probably do have some things still left out in here. But as I continue to declutter more and more of my stuff, this is going to become more and more Randy's area of, you know, just, I mean, it's, it's both of ours, but you know what I mean? It's like, it'll be a lot of his things. So just like with the basement, I want this area to be where we can put some of his extra things that he does not want to let go of, but we don't necessarily have to store them away. Um, and sometimes it, there's no rhyme or reason to what people want to keep. Like that tea set, there's nothing sentimental about that. But for some reason, he likes it. <laughs> I think it was here in this house when we moved in. It was out here in the garage. And I was going to declutter it. And he's like, no. I think he just likes it because it's shiny. I don't know. Um, but also because it's been out here. And because of how he is, once something's been around for, even for a short time, um, he gets very reluctant to letting it go. And so that's why a lot of times there are a lot of things out here that I would toss, but I don't because he's not ready, you know, and I don't know that he ever will be. 
and you know what that's okay it's his house too and I would not want him to tell me that I have to do something that I'm not ready to do and I'm not gonna do that to him um, like this cup he keeps these it's for something for science things that he does so we'll put that right back there where it was I'd like to straighten that up so I'm gonna go get my cat hands hang on I'm gonna go get my cat hands I might keep those maybe I should call it my cat, kitty cat paws <laughs> I had to put you on paws to get my kitty cat paw um okay so this is not ideal oh definitely not ideal <laughs> I just made a bigger mess. Okay, so I'm gonna have to <laughs> use both hands and stretch probably to get that. That kitty cat paw might not do it. Um, so I'm thinking because this is higher than this, that's making it harder for that to sit level. So I either need to put something for that, but then the shelf is further away from the wall than that thing is deep. But he wants to keep that thing too. Okay, hang on. <laughs> Again, I was going to work over there, and now I've got sidetracked. How many times has that happened? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. It's all progress, right? Alrighty, I got it fixed. I was wanting to put the things um, side by side, but it, it appears there's a big gap back there, and I don't want that picture especially falling down behind um, this shelving unit. <laughs> that would be a bear to move and this desk here is one of those old metal teacher's desks we have one at the front of the garage too and that would we would never be able to get under there and get that out of there if it got stuck um so i have that thing it's kind of angled so it's not all the way against the thing so maybe it won't fall through and then this is scooted back and that is sitting on top of it so that should keep the picture from falling down behind and so I'm going to say we're good there. And instead of that, that being just stuck in a pile, not being, you know, appreciated at all. And the same thing with that right there. Now they're over here in this section. And I think that will make Randy happy having those things out here. I mean, like you see, there's a Charlie Brown bag out here. I don't even remember what's in it. But he likes the Charlie Brown bags. So the Charlie Brown bag's over here. <laughs> and so that's kind of how I'm trying to deal with some of the things that I know Randy wants to keep and I don't want to just have them stored or stashed in a pile or a box or a bin or a bag and just taking up space and not actually being used even if it's just in a way like that right there okay now for the rest of the stuff the things that were sitting on top of those pictures um, this is Randy's hat. I think he wears that when he goes walking. I'm not sure. And there was a, there's a pencil there. Well, there's a pencil there too. So I'm going to put that here. Um, I think a lot of this is Randy's stuff, um, things that he uses. And it, it looks like chaos to us, but it's in more organized arrangement than it used to be. <laughs> I kind of, I, I arranged it like this. But that's because I didn't put the cups in here. Like you can see, there's been the addition of cups. I'm wondering if Randy would be okay if I put the cups. He has a box out here that the cups go in. I think I'm just going to gather the cups. If he needs them here, then, you know, he, I'll, I'll remind him he has that box with the cups. I'm going to grab those ones over in the other section too and toss them in. That at least that'll take care of some stuff over here. Um, this pumice stone thing... Um, I'm not sure if he uses that. Um, I don't know why it was out here. But this is his box for his shoe stuff. And that's close enough to feet. So I'm going to put it there. And then I'll have to tell him it's there. And hope he remembers in case he does use it. Um, then let's see. I ha This is a rock. I think the Boy Scouts bring those around and drop them with something uh, sometimes. And so I'm going to declutter the bag and use the rock. <laughs> Put the rock back out in nature where it belongs. And um, I have some shells here. And I have some other shells that uh, a lot of them, some we gathered when we went to the beach or the ocean or something. And uh, years years and years ago. And then we there were some, I think, that were here in the house. 
when we bought the house because the people that lived here before they had shelves on the bathroom wallpaper um and so they're all in this in here and i want to use them maybe in a fairy garden of sorts um so i'm going to put this here until i work on that and actually let me go ahead and just really quickly come over here and grab the rock that we do not need the bag i would go ahead and toss this one out in the thing but i kind of want to have it so um i can you know use it specifically in you know like in a specific spot in the fairy garden i guess you could say you know like if i just throw, throw it out there um, it'll just be a rock in the fairy garden, but if I'm, you know, like if I build a path or something, I want to be able to, to use that rock. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense, and this is going to get decluttered. Um, oh, and then, I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> Distracted today. Um, I think these would come in handy for digging and doing things outside, and I have some outside things over in that area there but when I kind of did a bit of organizing and decluttering out here before um, I started putting things in this cabinet that had to do with outdoor stuff so you can see there are some gloves and things there's a sprayer for the hose um, so I'm thinking maybe I'll put them there. I need to small see them though. I wonder if anything's in this jar. Um, money. <laughs> There's money in here. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Hang on. Let me let me put you on pause again so I'm fake. Okay, I'm back over here, and recently Randy um, was okay with me decluttering one of these, and I had, there was one of these as well. He didn't need it, um, so I'm going to go ahead and assume we don't need that, and that is kind of big for my needs, but, you know, it's something. So, let's see if that can work camera up so you can see that's not gonna go get there hmm well maybe up there up in the again I'm short <laughs> it feels like I'm touching something okay there and then I can find a better spot or a better way to do it maybe a smaller container but for the moment I can put that one to use and then, let's see. Okay, now I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter this and this and put these away. Okay, I'll be right back. I'll be, keep, I don't know, I'm looking elsewhere and not looking where the camera is. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't know what's up with me today. Anyway, um, so I'm going to put those things away. Hang on. Do you see that bin right there under this table? That bin has a bunch of jars and cups in it. And like I said, Randy's saving these for some kind of a science thing. So, he had them all over the garage. <laughs> they were everywhere. And, and I was throwing them away. And then I started finding them in weird places. And that made me think to ask him if he was keeping them for a purpose. And come to find out he was. <laughs> Luckily, they um, weren't actually in the recycle bin yet. <laughs> So he was able to get them back out. But I told him, I said, honey, that looks like trash. Like anybody would think that's trash. So I got a, a box at that time, but now they're in a bin and he knows it's there. And so when he thinks of it, he puts them in there. And I don't know if I can get to it easily, but I can see there are two more cups over there. And I got over here to get these and then I saw there's four jars over here too. So um, I'm going to put these in that bin as well. I'm not sure if he thought this is where they go. I don't think he's got them here to use them for anything. But if he does, he can he can come and get them out of his his bin. Okay. Um. Okay. I can't do this with one hand. I gotta go backwards. And you know the reason we have this big box and this big bag here is they have a reason. Um. Again. 
something sciencey. <laughs> well, the bags are are being kept for a neighbor who has who's going through chemo, and and so she might need them. But but this box is because Randy needs it for something sciencey. Okay, I'm gonna break that if I'm not careful. Okay, hang on. Okay, I got all of the jars and the cups in his bin. It's getting pretty full, though. I'm going to ask Randy about this um, thing before I actually toss it, uh, but I don't think he needs it. But I peeked at this, and we don't need that, so I'm going to toss that into the shred. Um, I know what's in here, so I'll leave that. I think I'll just leave the rest of those things. Um... I don't actually see anything at the moment that strikes me as something obvious that I think it's okay to declutter. So I'm going to leave that. I'll put this, I'm going to put it here. I'm going to put it here and that way I'll remember to ask him about that. Um, and I'll leave his hat like right there. But these two things I can go ahead and remove from that area. It's not much difference, but it is already a little bit better. This is where we put um, some of the recycle things before we take them out to the bin, like the larger things like milk jugs and um, Pepsi bottles and stuff. <laughs> and I was gonna go ahead and toss these out into the bin. <laughs> okay, yeah, I told you anything can become part of a science experiment around here. Um, yeah, so I know he's doing a particular thing. <clears throat> he must be using these bottles <laughs> for that. So I'm just going to leave them because he might actually need those. <laughs> hey, I don't think I introduced you to Cookie. Um, this is the Scarecrow cookie jar that I decluttered a while back. And nobody took it when I posted it on Buy Nothing. And nobody took it when I put it in the driveway giveaway. So I was going to take it to the thrift store and then I decided he would look really cute right out here in my backyard on this stump. And I also still had this uh, CD rack. Nobody took that either. And I thought, well, that can go behind him. If I want to, I can stuff little flowers down in there or I could do little potted plants. And then here's the little Rocky horse. I made that a long time ago um, it wasn't anything that I needed to put in you know like in the driveway giveaway or anything so he has his own little crew out here he has some butterflies and some owls to keep him friends he's got his little crows there isn't he cute say hello to cookie hooray hooray because today is the day I'm tidying up tossing clutter away. I don't need to keep it if I don't really need it. Unless it's not mine, then it's better to leave it. I'm going to use what I keep and lose what I don't. Sort the maybe I might from the surely I won't. Be a little bit extra accidentally on purpose because extra is fine and it's not going to hurt us. So applause, applause for the kitty cat paws. They're made of wood, and I kept them because they're dandy and handy when a bit of a stretch will do in place of a stepladder fetch. Things may appear crazy or seem a bit lazy or not very clever when you see them, but maybe give them a chance a bit more than a glance, and they just might help you do something you can't. Hey, Bubby. You want to come out here with Mommy? <laughs> Hi, look at Pumpkin. Hello. Hi. Did you say hello? You did. Aw. Sorry you can't come out here, Bubby. Oh, you need a nap. Oh, my sweet baby. There's my Bubby. Did you get your tiny tidy done? Hmm? Did you get your tiny tidy done today? <laughs> 